never needs at least a queen to present. And without your font, your color, your your, your vector, yes, I'll at least I'll talk about that for later. Figma needs at least a queen to present. And without swim, in fact, everything you did is zero. You, you did not do anything. Because there's no way to preview it. I don't know what you did. If I try to preview it, to just show a blank space. There's no frame. That's the number one thing. The number two thing about this frame, the second thing about this frame is the alignment. I talked about alignment yesterday that everything must be on the same, on the same page. The first one, look at this email and this password. They are not on the same page. Nobody will ever look at it. Oh, this, this is a site. Let me just, let me see what they are doing. First, they look at the interface. They won't be interested in anything they want to do about the site again. The number, okay, another thing is the alignment of these boxes, of this rectangle you want to build. They are not on the same, they are not on the same line. And that's not a good thing at all. Sorry. Okay. When you click on it, see the. In fact, there's another way you can even check if your work are aligned without using your. Maybe just let's say, mm, let me look at this thing with my bare eyes. Okay, they are aligned, they are not aligned. Once you click on anything and you press your Alt key, your alternative key on your keyboard, you will see the spacings between each thing. The spacing between this one, okay, from. Um, the horizontal spacing is 150 to the right side and 690 to the left side. The vertical spacing 307 to the top and 670, okay, 667 to the bottom. It will always give you the spacing. When you click on this now, click on your alternative. You see, we have 268 to the right side. Here we have 150 to the left side. And that's not a good thing at all. Anything you are doing on Figma or any design you are doing has to deal with uniform. I said it yesterday. Either your either your text, your font, your color, your rectangle, your vectors. Yes, I'll, I'll please I'll talk about vector later on. Everything has to do with uniform thing. Everything has to do has, has to be uniform. This gets this place. I think this person wanted to use my. my uh, this person tried to use my design, but he's not getting it very well. This is a little bit bigger than the normal rectangle. If the person uses frame, all the thing here won't show at all. Let's try that. Um, frame. There's it. Okay, frame selection. Now I turn this to a frame. Now let's preview it. Please, are we together? We are. Yeah. I, can't even, I can't even find the particular design because the person is not using cream. Cream 13. I don't know. The design is not even showing because the person did not use any frame. Yeah, the design won't show. The person did not use frame. It's the first thing, whatever you want to do on Figma has to deal with frame. That's the first thing you should remember, frame. Yeah, let's move to another work. Okay. Um. Welcome to Lulu's work. First, the color, the color, this person used is okay. The color is okay. Another thing is the alignment also. I don't know why Google, you have your Google logo here, you have your LinkedIn logo here. They are not aligned. They are not on the same line. I have to move it. I told you something about this red light. Uh, red, yes, red light that is showing, red line that is showing. It deals with the alignment and um, everything that deals with spacing also yes if they're on the same space i mean on the same line on the same anything 
you will see the this thing will show. Sorry. All the red lines that are showing means they are correlating with a particular stuff. For this one, this LinkedIn is in a line with is, is in a line with this all button. Or I agree with the terms. Once they are on the same line, the same, the same horizontal line or vertical line, everything the green light, the red light will always show. And please, your fonts. Your, your typeface and font, please always reduce it. This one is too bold. I would prefer you use something like something regular. Yes. Now we have let's change everything to regular. 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 This let's change it light. Yes, there are some fonts you use that you see more than just three options: light, regular, and bold. Sometimes you see um semi bold. You see black fonts like I used Inter in the last class. Inter. Yes, you see thin. Everything, everything varies. You see regular, you see medium, you see mobile, you see semi bold everything. Please always work with uniform fonts. Let me change this back to regular. Yes, Calibri. Let's use Calibri. This design is good, it's okay. But please always make sure you check your alignment. And all the icons must be the same size. I think this was the size of this one. This one 114 by 102. And when you check this one, this is 80 by 96. That's one reason you can never have them on the same line. Please always check your alignment. Now, this is a perfect design. In fact, this please who did this? Who did this? Okay. This is a perfect design. I'm not going to lie to you. This is the perfect design. This hundred percent. There's nothing else you want to you want to do. Everything from the alignment, from the from all the informations, everything. When you click on this box, you see that the distance between this is thirty. When you click on this, also. Let's click on this. Okay, the distance between this is 30. Click on this distance is also 30. Everything is perfect. Perfect. This this is a perfect design. Yeah, I mentioned okay. This design now. Um, it is not uniform. One, the colors. I think you have too many colors on this design. You have black. You have is this white? Oh, this is not white. You have white. You have blue. You have this color. You have this color. You have this color. It's. If I said something last class that you need a design to be simple. That's the rule of design. Let it be simple. And I mentioned a, a sign up screen. I don't know why you are putting sign in and sign up screen on the same on the same page i don't know maybe there are some site that does that but it's no idea to do that just make your design simple your email box your information box okay, right. yes your information box i don't know why this is aligned to the right and not to the left do you have anything to do with this one or you should have just put it in the middle. It won't be, be touching any of the edges. I don't know why you do that. Please work on that. Yeah, this design also, this is a good design. Even if it is not perfect because of the colors. There are some colors used that are not even related. That's why we have 
sites, different sites for color picking. I'll give you some of them. You can go to uh, Adobe Color. Yes, adobecolor.com to check for colors. There are plenty colors. I think that's all. Uh, okay. This design also. Oh, yeah. This design also. I mentioned something about spacing. I've been saying spacing, alignment, color, and uniform. Everything should be uniform. This design is not beaten. The owner of this design, if you check your Figma board, you see the comment The Angela made a comment that, please give your design space. Let it breathe. You don't have anything to do with this, this old space. You don't have anything to do with it. Give your design space, please. 20, 18, 38. That's another thing. It is no uniform. The distance between this name and email ID is 20. The distance between this email ID and password is 18. The distance between the password and compound password is 38. That's very wrong. Very wrong. Please always give it uniform spacing. Uniform spacing. In fact, you can use. Let me give you layout grid. You can use layout grid for something like this. Just use row. You can use like okay, let's say 20. I even change the color to let me give it a blue color, something that will be very visible. Yes. You can use layout grid for something like this, where when you have your first box here, then the next box should be on the next layout grid. That will give you a uniform design. Let's do this also. This. Now, let's check. Twenty. You see, twenty. Okay, this is nineteen. I just bring it down once. Yes, and you have twenty. When this one also, you can just fifty five. I don't know why you haven't. That's it. But please make sure you are giving a breathing space. I'm just using this as an example of how you can space your work to be uniform. Okay, I think this is the last one. Okay, this is not the last one. This design is perfect. Very, in fact, I would have given 100%, but the only thing, the only mistake you made here is your alignment. See where you have, I don't know. You have the name here. I don't know why it is not on the same level with this. You mean like, why is it not on the same level with this? This also. Yes, please. And it is too thick. Too thick. Yes. I can just change the to medium. You can change this to medium also. So say that's it, yeah. Medium. Medium. That's it. This and make sure everything is uniform. This is another perfect design. In fact, I love this. Everything is perfect. 100%. Please, you can check this for inspiration. There are different sites you can use for inspirations. You can do when, when you ask to create something in design, there's nothing like there's nothing new in this on this earth. You are not the first person doing anything. There's nothing you want to do. Someone would have done it before or something close to it. Anything you want to do, someone, someone has done it before or something close to it. Anything. There are a lot of sites you can use. You can 
check to points you can check for inspiration we have pinterest we have dribble we have beans a lot of sites you can use for inspirations even google you can even use google just search for what you want to design then use it for inspiration i'm not telling you to copy their design because i saw some assignment i don't just want to say anything about it today if i see that the next time i'll copy the person out i told you to design a sign up page for desktop and the person went to community copy their own work then bring it to me for submission that's not a good thing please it will help you that way i think that's all on the um assignment correction if you have any question please let me know before we start today's class yeah azan kodri please what's your question yeah good evening i noticed you didn't comment on my assignment so i don't know the reason why but i, I saw that you reviewed it i guess I'll, I'll i'll get back to the door all right thank you yeah right. please do you have another any other question i mean i have something to say but it's not, right. it's not a question okay. so good evening everybody um i saw everybody's design and great work if i did not like leave a comment it means that i didn't find I didn't find something to say, but I'll, I'll check it out again. I mean, you guys did well. Minus alignment, color issue, and the likes. It was, you guys really tried. I saw some designs that like busted my head and I'm like, oh, are you guys really beginners? Because you guys really did well. Minus little issue that I will talk about. I think that, um, you guys are ready so i'll say as so i'll just say that will say don't copy design me you can copy you but at least you should be able to copy with sense and be able to tweak your design as a, as a designer you cannot know everything here so you need to get inspirations from different sites this was just like a very simple assignment to do and i i mean from some people i expected to see more and from some people I, i'm like okay it's a good start do you get so i mean in the next coming classes here yeah, or coming assignments i want to see um a lot of improvement so for the likes that I, for the comments that i i dropped that in terms of oh, alignment so for in the next for the next class please do work on your alignment if you see i have a problem my dms are open if you need my email address please just ask for it and i will give you i'm very free so if you always want me to comment on your work please just message me afterwards and i would gladly help you so that's like what I want to say. Great work, guys. Um, I love to see you guys. I love to see your designs, like more and more of it. Yeah, I'd like to see you guys progress from what it is currently. Thank you. And that will continue the class because we have like a lot of things to do today. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Angela, for that. Uh, precious Yusuf, please, what was your question? Someone is raising up their hand. She stepped out. Ah, well, we lost her. Sorry about that. Hi, hello. I'm here again, oh, sorry. Okay. The next class I was the other time. Um, okay. So my question is that I could not do the assignment. So I want to ask if I'm still opportune to submit afterwards after i'm done with it because i'm just checking the videos it, it just dropped on youtube um so i already closed assignments so i already closed the google form for submission but 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 i would reopen <laughs> it because i feel i feel like more of us did not submit so i'll just open it for for just this night from today to like 10 p.m. and that's all because i'm sure that was going to give us another assignment today and by tomorrow i wish you start getting feedback from people i hope that works okay all right thank you thank you um okay let's go into today's class in fact 
I was telling Angela yesterday that you guys already know everything. We should just give you people certificates. But today, I want to do two things. Yeah, I want us to work on another frame. Same process, same thing we did yesterday. I want us to work on another frame. Let me think of the frame. And today we are going to do prototype. Yes, prototype are just steps, or they are just um, ways of interact. They are interactions. Yes, let me use that. Prototypes are just interactions where we are. If we have this frame now, frame one, then have another frame, frame two. Yes, let me give this a color of black. Let me give it another color, red. Let me give this blue. And let me give this yellow. Yes. If you have three frames, basically what you are going to do about prototyping, just click on, let come to this right corner, click on your frame. I just want to show you the introduction to prototype. Yeah, let's just put it here. Okay. Oh, sorry. Let's open this to this. Yeah. We have a lot of pages that we are working on. Once you click on a page, it will take you to another page. Once you click on another page, it will take you to another page. Take you, take you like that, like that, like that, like that. That's just what prototyping is. So today we are going to create a lot a signing page, a login page, and maybe an own page. Then we will prototype everything. Yeah, let's get started what frame should we work on if someone should give me a, a mobile frame that we can work on iphone 11. iphone 11 okay let's see iphone 11 okay and i was supposed to talk about plugins today I think I, I wish we have time for that. Yes, I, I said something yesterday that when you click on your frame and you have something small like this, you know it will be very difficult for us to design on a small screen. Just come to your keyboard, click on the plus button, click on the plus button. Please don't increase the size of the frame. Never, never don't try to do that. It will alter your whole design. Please don't try to increase the size of the frame. Let me give this one 70. Yeah. So let's just do uh, a little thing. Let's start with our uh, plugin. I said something about iconifiers, the way you can get all icons you want. Let's start it back here. And choose any one you want. Then another one, we need the Wi Fi. Um, let me pick this. I want this. What else do we need? Um, good evening. Good evening. Who is this? Please do say something. Oh, oh, about the yes. icon, where can we get? I'm sorry, I didn't get your question. Like, um, I'm talking about the yes. icon. Like, the icon, where can we get the icon like the color, the same color with the one of the person? Like, the way to 
you know, getting it out with like which plugins have you been getting? Oh, please type your question. Your network is there's some, something is wrong. With so, so I heard him, yeah. I was asking where you can get okay. plugins from. You can okay, get plugins, I mean, you can get icons from the community. Just that will please just go to the community and show them again how to get pl um, plugins. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. From your this one, okay. From your home button, when you, when the first thing when you enter your Figma, this is the home button. I said that yesterday. Just come to your com this community, and you can just search for plugins. Shit. Figma plugin and we get. Yeah, when you click on get the copy, it will get, open another design canvas for you where you can you have everything. You can get your plugins from there. Or you can just right click on your system, click on plugin. Install these are your the installed plugins because I have a lot of plugins on my system already. You can just come here to pick any one you want. If you have not installed any plugin, it will show search plugins or find okay this like this find more plugins and to give you an, a lot of plugins. You can click on iconify. It is I think this is the most common plugin for icon. Just click on iconify. How is it loading? Okay, run. I'm sorry, I don't know why the network is very slow today. Yeah, okay. Go on. Then it will bring your iconify plugin. You can search for anything you want. Bluetooth. Let's add Bluetooth. Yes. You have your Bluetooth and you can bring it to the Yes, I said something about the alignment. I can always check. There's no harm in reviewing your work. You can always review your work. Why this network is also slow. okay? Now we see that when we are previewing it, it will show us the interface of an iPhone. Is that it will show us the interface of an iPhone and whatever we are doing, it will let us know. Okay, I think these icons are too big, you can just resize them. If you click on this button, when you change the height of an icon or of anything, it will also change the width of the icon. If you don't want that to happen, you can just click on it again so that it won't change let's just change this to 20. that yeah, the size of this will change also and we can move it same for our battery let's change that to 20. same for our bluetooth let's change that to 20. Twenty. Twenty. I think let's reduce it to fifteen. That's be better. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. 
Let's do this. I can check again. Still same thing. We still have to change it to. Let's change it to something like ten. I think we have a good one now. I just highlight it, bring it down, change everything together. Yes, I think we have a good one. Another thing we used to have on our phone by is okay. I think the time you can just use your text to do this. You can just write nine eleven. Yes. Yeah, that's nice. Yes. They're on the same line now. Yeah. The next thing we have is our um sign up. If you have any logo, there are different styles you can do it. Some people just come, okay. Um, let me do this. Let me add another rectangle to this. Yes, I want to use a blue color. That is not too bad. Okay, I just do this. Small. I can have something like OT. Yes. I click on this. Yeah. Let me say this real quick, please. If you are working on screens, like plenty screens, that you want to create design plenty screens, there's something we call components. Components are elements that can be reused. Yes, they function as master to child system. This is an example of components. You click on this, 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 create component. Yes, this is now a component. The difference between component and grouping is that when you change, when you duplicate a component, we have another one here. When you duplicate a component, and you change this from the main component, and you change this from the main component, everything from other component you change. The original component is called main component. Why other components are called instance components? Everything on other components will change when you change something from the main component. But if you do this on any instant component, main components will change. It will only change the instant component, the one you are working on. Yeah. We use component again if you want to if you want interactions yes things like interactions when you have plenty screens and instead of you to just create screen 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 screens you can use components if you put components on one particular screen you can give you a lot of options i'll send an example to the group after the class but please let's finish up with this one Yeah, we have our logo. Let's let's try to find something we can use for logo. Yeah.
Um, let's just find something over here. Okay, let me assume this is my logo. Our text. Okay. Welcome. This is just an extension of what we did yesterday, but I'm using a different frame. And just is welcome. What do we have on our sign equipment? Okay, we have our rectangle. Yes, let's give this a round edge of 10. That's good. Okay. And let's give this a color of white. Because we are going to use this exact rectangle again. I told you something about duplicate yesterday. You can just duplicate it then. Use this to check. Okay, 13. Let's put the text on it. Continue with Facebook. That's Check our Facebook icon of flooding. Yes. Um, just it's Please always make sure you check the arrangement of this. When you come to your left side, you see the arrangement. The reason why this the icon I just import now is not showing is because it is under all the work I've been doing. Everything is under, but once I bring it up to the top, you see that it will show. Please always make sure the icons are arranged, your works are arranged, please. Please, what icon did you add to the email? I search for email, email. Okay, 
there are different ways you can do this. You can just drag your text from here and you use the red line. But some people are, may have problem with the red line, like me, I have trust issue, issue with the red line. So you can just come to the right side. You see this align left. This is align horizontal center, align right, align top, align vertical center, and align bottom. You can just click on horizontal center so that you have your work in the middle. You can change this color. Let's can we use white for this? Or we should just use black. <clears throat> I think I can go with black. Yes, we can just go with black. We have let's check and uh, nothing. I think we have something nice now. You can do just do the same for our sign. This is our sign up page. You can just do the same for our login page. And we do, then we move everything on this. Okay. And there's sixty-two,
This is not always a bad idea to always duplicate from your first frame or from any frame down to another frame you want. Please, if you have a question, let me know. Okay. We have our signing and login page now. Just a simple signing and login page. And I, want, I said I want to talk about put typing. Yeah, you can just double click on this to change it to signing signing page. Or you can just come here. When you come to this side, your left side, you can double click on double tap on it to change it to signing page. And also, you can let's just change to login page. Now, okay. It's, we want to have our own page here. 
home page and just leave everything we have here. Um, let's just find something to put on this home page. Okay, I can create a rectangle. Just another one. Let me fill this with color. Okay. When you have a rectangle, please note that everything you do, everything you do on Figma are called vectors. Things like anything you use your rectangle, your line, algo, ellipse, polygon, star, um, our pen tool, our pencil tool, everything you do, they are called vectors because you can easily edit this. All these are called vectors, vectors, vectors. You can edit them uh, let's do, let's fill this you can either come here <clears throat> to fill instead of solid you can use image then choose image you can just choose anyone see uh, let's pick another image <clears throat> image Let me have another one. Let's change the image. Yes, okay. I think we have our own page now. This is just an example. <clears throat> we are talking about prototyping. Now we come to our right hand side. Click on your okay we we'll click on this sign in now this will take us to our sign in sorry this when, whenever you do this it will always show one small overlay button at the right side that's to show you that you have to edit some things. We have some apps that um, you don't have to click anything before they go to the next page. Yes, like our onboarding screens. Sometimes we can have three onboarding screens. Let me give you an example. If you are using Wema Bank a lot, once you open the app, you don't have to click on anything before it can go to the next page. It can be three, it can be four, it can be whatever the person wants. We can have on tap, on drag, and we have anything. But for now, let's just stick to on tap. You click on whatever you want, then you drag it to the frame you want. Just let me say it again. If you want to sign in, so let I can just change this to login for some people that may not understand. Login. Yes. If you want to login, you already have an account and you want to log in, you can just drag your reaction from your login to the login page that's why we have name of we have, that's why we name pages i just click on this also login login yes on tap to home page um from this we have sign up we don't have an account yet we want to go back to the sign up page you can just drag it from here back to our sign up page yeah, let me put a log out. Oh, sorry. Yes. I just drag our reaction from here to here. Um, what else do we need to do? Okay, I think that's everything. And once you come to your display, you see when I click on login, it will take me to the login screen. And when I click on, I don't have, okay, I don't have an account, I want to sign up, it will take me back to the, I don't have an account. But when, when I click on login, it will take me to the login screen. And okay, after I fill my name and my everything, my password, my name and everything, 
I just have to log in, then it will take me to, our, to my home screen. Let's just assume this is our home screen. This is not our home screen, which level. Let's just assume this is our home screen. I'm done with everything I want to, I want to log out. You click on it and it will take you back to the login screen. Please, if you have any question, let me know. Um, please, I have a question. Okay. Um, I want to ask, when you are doing the prototype, are we going to click on the prototype icon before we can start um, drawing the arrows to each pages? Yes, yes. You have to click on the prototype. You see, my board is on prototype now. If I want to design, I will take it back to design. When I click on design, you see the you see the properties of anything I click on. If I click on this frame, you see the properties of this frame. If I click on this rectangle, you click, you see the properties of this rectangle. If I click on anything, you see the properties of the stop But When I click on prototype, this particular line is what you used to know that this is, we are on prototype screen. This is showing a reaction. It is telling you that you can drag from here to a frame. Please note, we drag from either vector text or anything to a particular frame. We don't drag from vector to vector. This is an example. I, I only drag from here to a frame. I can't drag from here to a particular vector. It is not, it's not possible. It won't work like that. Please, does that answer your question? Yes, please. You've answered it. Thank you. All right. Um, please. We have another question. Okay. Oluwa do sit Oluwa ni. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So I want to ask if the dragging, the arrow you, you are dragging, does it come in order, or um, like when you were trying to connect the um work the um home page everything then you went to the logout does it come orderly or you can just um connect them as as your discretion or as you like did you get my question yes if i'm right you mean do i have to do this one first before i do the second one before i do another yes. one? no 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 yes you can do it any way you want but le let me tell you the best thing is to do it in orderly Way, in orderly manner because sometimes you have to do plenty screens in fact 100 screens sometimes and you may confuse yourself you can just do this one first then come here do this also come here do this also you can in fact you can even start from here or you can start from your profile page you can start from any page you want but the best thing is to do it the way you want to arrange because it can confuse you. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Uh, please, any other question? Um, yeah, but it's not like a question, though. Um, I don't know. Are we going to get the recordings immediately after the class? Because right now I'm on two percent. So anytime I I'm going to go off the class. So I want to know if we are going to get the recordings. Either on YouTube or on the WhatsApp platform. I don't know. Please, ah. I don't have power over that. I don't have power over that. You have to talk ah, to the yeah. organizers. But we'll okay, go ahead okay. and release it as soon as possible. All right, all right, no problem. Thank you. Okay, please, do you have any other question on prototype? No other question. Please let me just say this real quick before we end the class. Um, I want to teach you how to use the pen tool and pencil tool, but I don't I'm not sure we can finish it before we end the class. But let me just go to it real quick. The pen tools are what we use to create vectors. You can have a page. Let me just start with a random frame. Yes, you can just have a frame. 
and you see everything they are doing on the frame be like was i think when someone the last assignment i gave you someone did a design on the screen but the person did not use pen to open the person just used rectangle and everything so that when you are designing something very complicated you will get confused the best thing for you is just to use pen to or pencil to let me just show you what you can do with this pencil pen to um let's create a keyboard okay. Um, should I just I think this is I think this is okay. Yes. Okay, we have a vector now. You can edit it anyhow you want. You can you can give it a stroke style if it is if it is solid or dash. You can edit it, you can anyhow you want. I, I said something yesterday that there's no rules to there are no particular rules to some things in design. You can just freestyle, make sure you are not doing the wrong thing. That's the only rule you have in design. Make sure you are not doing the wrong thing. Let me change this back to solid. Um, you can give it any color you want. Um, let me focus that. Let me use green. Let me change my screen to black. Yeah, so that you can be able to see it. This. Um, okay. I just reduce this. Um, okay. If I'm eat this also. Yes, okay. You have a design we, we design something with our pen to now you may want to do your own work you should you should do you can do this pens, okay okay so we need to feel it okay exactly Yes, okay. Yes, there are plenty of designs you can create with your pen tool and pencil tools. They are almost the same. In fact, your pencil and your pen, pen tool, to me, they are the same thing. It's just that the pen tool is okay. okay. Just that the pen tool is more complicated. The pencil tool is just a freestyle. You can when you click and hold, you can draw anything you want on the pen tool. There are plenty, it's just make sure you work on figma like you practice very well another thing you should know is your short keys yes your keyboard shortcuts when you come to your bottom right corner and you click on this question mark you see keyboard shortcut and it will show you a lot of shortcuts you need to know these ones highlighted in blue are the ones i use today everything highlighted in blue are the ones i use today this, okay, this is an example. I use my move to my frame to pencil to text to rectangle to ellipse line. These are the ones I use. Let me use the arrow to so that you can see shift L to highlight to blue. Let me use the pencil to also shift P. You see that it has 
highlight everything okay, now i've used everything um another one okay i'd not use this ones this ones this ones shape i'd not use this the ones highlighted in blue i don't i use do you have any other question sorry sorry please what's the code again the code the code for what yeah i mean like what you press for all those uh, short scores to co uh, come out oh yeah i said come to the bottom right corner your bottom right corner click on the question mark you will see keyboard shortcuts click on it then you will see all the shortcuts you need to know everything here all right thank you uh, uh andrew george please what's your question uh you were saying something about on draw one time oh yes please mute your mic yeah let me talk about on draw uh, okay When you are on draw is a website. Yes, I don't think they have plugin plugin for that right now. On draw is a website. Please, can you still see my screen? Please, can anyone hear me? Yes, we hear you. Yes, we can still see. Okay, okay. Please, I'm, I want to share another screen. This is this the network is not there. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm just come to. On draw. .co. on draw is a website that you can get illustrations from a lot of illustrations um okay let's search for login or sign in Okay, I think and you can download it. You just have to download it as SVG. If you are using it for Figma, you have to download it as SVG. But if you are using it for another app or any other project, you can download it as PNG. Now we'll go back to our Figma. I want to wait. Yes. Okay. yes okay instead of me using this i can just do this then come here place image download my on door open then i can just put it here this when you want to resize anything click on your k k is for scaling to if you resize using k everything will resize without changing the position everything but if you click on your v you're moving to and you resize it it will change it will alter the whole design process just use your k your scaling tool to resize it and it will still give you the same shape just come here Place it here instead. You can just align it to the center from here, just align vertical center, and you have your on your image. Yeah. And you just please do you get that.
Please, does anyone have any other question? Oh, okay. Someone asks if there's another place we can get illustrations like this apart from on draw. Yes. That's why we have community. There are a lot of things you can get in community. You can just click on illustration. Illustration. I to give you a lot 3D illustration, three vector illustration. Any illustration you want, you can just click on it. Click on anyone, then get the copy. If you click on get the copy, it will open a new design file for me, for you. Yes. Okay. This is our illustration. You can just copy it from this. Copy, then come back to your own design canvas. Paste it anywhere you want. You have your own illustration. That's just everything about illustration. Another plugin we have is um, okay. You can also use Avatar to get something close to illustration. It is not illustration, but it's very close to illustration. Let me give you a, let me give you an example. Let me use this. Okay, let me use this as an example. If you have an ellipse, oh, size it, then duplicate, 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 duplicate again. Can just use our avatar. Maybe we need to fill this with pictures. Can just come to plugin on our avatar plugin to fill it with picture immediately. Yes, that's just about avatar plugin. In another class, we'll talk more about plugin. We have a class dedicated for plugin. Um, please, what plugin did you use to get this post shoe? I did not use any plugin to get this post shoe. I have it on my system before and I just filled the rectangle with the boots that's it thank you very much please if you have uh, any other question i'm here for you i think that's the end of our end of today's class mm -hmm.